Oh, YouTube fans, here again. And I figure if I ought to do, why not this one? That being Puppet Master, which has it on a movie from 1989. Remember right there? Yeah, 1989. And this is a dud one. They made out a few sequels to these. And to be open and honest, to be open and honest, the same company or the same producers that did us the chassis that being Doonis did this and in my eyes my eyes this is what the Doonis should have been like I like Doonis for this Doonis 1, Doonis 2, Doonis goes to college, Doonis 4 I thought was a piece of fucking shit but this is what Doonis should have been like to be honest I was more of a lover of Doonis 2 I was more of a love off because it didn't chicken out as much, even though the student attitude the rate in my old. This on the other hand is not. Basically he's a doing his die called the puppet master and he makes these puppets and he deals with Pat Max and so on. These people are going after him, puts a gun to his mouth and blows his fucking brains out. Fucking hell, he must be seeing the thing when I was talking about remakes. He must have had nerves to do it before me. <laughs> I told some joking, but yeah. He shoots himself and pulls his brains out. But I've got to do this film, it's due. I've got to do it, it's due. It's difficult to fuck around on the blood and door department. So you've got an idea, it's a couple of years later, you've got all these rich people, and to be open and honest, I didn't really give a shit about any of them. Except for the main characters, and then to be fucking shit about a single one. I thought they were all snoopy, they were all up their own asses. But they go to this mansion, and if they stay for the night, they win like thousands and thousands of pounds. This is where the film gets really creative and kill scenes. I remember talking about the Final Destination films, it definitely gets creative in the Blood and Door department. So you've got one of the puppets called Dewa. There's a bit of Anky Panky, he feels up in this guy, that is, he's a bit of a nymphomaniac. And she hears his noise, he looks under the bed, there's the drill, one's up, but you've got the idea he drills her all in the face. Then the dad's lying tied to the bed, he thinks he's still friends, giving him something, but he's not. You've got Leeks, and it's another puppet, and she opens her mouth like that, and she dosses these Leeks out, and it finishes him off. Then you've got one woman, she gets tapped, you get Punter, which is another puppet, but punches her in the face. and. If anyone, anyone knows Puppet Master, Word of a Fire, it's a good DVD. I can't remember where I put it, but it's somewhere around in my room. And it shows special features back in the day. And it really does, it really is good. Like I say, the same makers were doing us do this. Give us this one, being Puppet Master. Well, there's about some shabby tooth. Yep, doing this. Puppet Master. And I, I mean, I like it. You just use a little person and they see him with the punching in the face. But I like it. So she gets punched in the face. She manages to move Punchy out. Then you've got Slass, which is one of the most cheapest puppets in the puppet. You've got that rage smile like that. You've got a big knife. He walks up to her, just goes, and fucking nigga just slits her fault. No fucking about. So they do have a lot of creative kills, a few creative deaths in it. And you've got the main character, he has this really horrible nightmare of having all these leeches on him, which he does foils on. But then, like I say, they all get killed, all these Snoopy people, it's such really creative deaths. And I do remember when they got to Puppet Master 2, you've got the one called Burn Off. He doesn't come into it until they do that one. It's the same, I like Burn Off. Maybe one day around the world, I might talk about the Puppet Master films, just like most, they made a trilogy off them. Made a few sequels, but this one I always remember it. I always remember it, that's, that's in my ear. So, the main characters, the boy and dude, there's a bit of bonking here and there, which is like typical of these other films. But they go downstairs, and that's when they find the puppet master. He's been bought back from the dead. He's no longer an old man, he's been made to look. Now, you, I've got to admit, I've got to admit, he is pretty cheap there. He's all makeup, he's got black hair, slipped back he really looks weird looking not being horrible but he does and he's talking about he represented these puppets to kill people he's not doing people in room he wants to take back the man soon and everything you've got one called Tista which is its face around to be honest I haven't really asked about Tista he never really killed anybody it just moves its face around one moment it's smiling one moment it looks sad 
Don't be looking like a pulling weird chisses at you. One moment he's frowning. Um, he pulls his face and I think the puppet master gets pissed off and slaps it one. And then for some reason the puppets get pissed off. They knock him on the floor. They all lay into him. The Jill are Jill's a fucking old in his head. The leeches, but the leeches all over him and they just basically fucking kill him. And you do see the aftershots of all the people who got killed. The woman who had the kill in her face, all her face is all messed up. Dad got all the leases on him. Really looks gruesome. And it kind of reminds me of another film. Reminds me of the film called Happy Birthday to Me. Have you ever seen that film? A slasher film in 1981 called Happy Birthday to Me. Where you see the aftershots of anyone that got murdered. But it kind of reminds me a bit of that. You see the aftershots. Of all the characters all brutally murdered. But like I say, Puppet Master gets killed. Gets killed a really gruesome death. And the main characters get out of dodge. And then I'm, I could be right and I could be wrong. But I think you're right, it's a couple of months later. A couple of months later and you see the, a sign that the Puppet Master might not be dead. But it's a tools, a tools foils on in that one. Being Puppet Master. But yeah, I didn't mind it. Like I say, it came out in 1989. And it definitely doesn't fuck around on the blood and door department. It's definitely blood first. Eh? It definitely has a lot of creative kills. And it, it's like I said, it's like I said, the same producers, the same makers, what different as do this, differs this. But this is why, this is why I like doing this. Don't get me wrong, I hate it. Compared to doing this fall, which I think is a piece of fucking dog shit. This is what I felt do this sort of being a bloodbath sort of had creative deaths creative kill scenes creative this creative that but it didn't it it kind of pussied out and all that you know what i mean at the end where they all come back alive the main characters and in the car then you're thinking do they get killed which it does when you get to do this for that's not the taste because the main characters still alive and kicking and there's a bit of a memory lane and it's all that much of that you might as well be watching that and basically it just feels like a televised filler made for TV. This on the other hand, I like this. about the, the death scenes with today. And it's like I said, if, if you're a bit like me, right? You're a bit like me and you're a sucker for making and behind the scenes footage and all this. There's a good DVD of Pu Puppet Master out there where you've got the original theatrical trailer. And I quite like with one, it does have the original making back in the day, which just shows you how they did the effects, shows you how they did the effects on the puppets, and so on. And I do know, like I said, they made a lot of sequels in the early 90s, they made Puppet Master 2, again in the early 90s, they made Puppet Master 3, I quite like with one, they only made a fourth one, they made one called Puppet Master Versus the killer town from outer space believe it or not um so they made out a few of these puppet master films but i remember watching the original when it first came out on 3.8s i've now got it on dvd somewhere around whenever i can find it i'll be asked to find it and it's a good one if you like tacit horror films i'm a certain era before they all went pc friendly this is a good one this is an horror film right this is an horror film i've got to admit got to admit it's today too I say it again, creative death scenes, creative effects, a lot of good ideas, a lot of good imagination. This is why nowadays I fucking spies on the films and I think they're a piece of fucking shit. This, on the other hand, there's no faults to it, so fuck it. An eight star rating for me, but into them, be smart, be safe. See you later.